Oh, hello. And welcome to me figuring out my life in the kitchen. I would say that my cooking skills are on the intermediate side. I'm not at a beginner's level where I don't know how to do anything, but I'm definitely not a pro yet. So today's video is gonna be very, very interesting. Today I'm going to be cooking a gourmet meal for the first time ever. I've never had to cook a gourmet meal and I don't even have to do it today, but I really want to challenge myself. I want to have something good to eat today and I want it to be something that I've never made before. I want to expand my horizons. Today we're going to be cooking slow cooked beef short ribs with a side of asparagus and possibly some mashed potatoes. Behind me are the ingredients that we're going to need for this lovely masterpiece. So without further ado, join me on this hell of a ride. So before we start, I'd like to mention that this recipe is actually from Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay himself, he called me, he was like, what are you? An idiot sandwich. <laughs> He actually posted this recipe on a YouTube video several years ago, so if you guys want to check it out or you want to follow along, I will link it down below. But with that being said, if this turns out bad, it's Gordon Ramsay's fault. I mean, I don't make the rules. Fuck. Okay, so to begin, I'm just going to take the short ribs out of the packaging, and then I'm just supposed to season it. He seasoned it with salt in the video. He didn't show anything else. So I'm like, not sure what he wants from me. So I think I am just going to season it with a little bit of salt and then a tiny bit of garlic salt because we are gonna put garlic in this. So I don't wanna make it like too garlicky. So next we're supposed to turn on the stove and heat up this little pan. This pan is what we're gonna use to sear the short ribs on first and then we're gonna stick it into the oven. I'm gonna wait for this to heat up and then I'm gonna add some olive oil and now it's time to start putting in our beef short ribs. Just ruining our pan. So I've made a discovery. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of sorcery Gordon Ramsay is doing in this video, but he places like a baking sheet onto the stove and he starts cooking the ribs on the stove. Um, I tried that. I almost burnt the house down. She's a little roasted, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know what? Trial and error, baby. Trial and error. Oh, oh my, my god. god. How does Gordon Ramsay make that shit look so easy? I'm over here burning myself. Two shots of vodka. Taste test. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> oh my god, that was not planned. I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm like the kombucha girl all over again. You know what? It's warm, so it tastes gross, but I think it could be good. It smells amazing in my house right now. It smells so freaking good. Yes. So apparently, if you bring the wine to a boil and then you turn down the heat and let it simmer, <laughs> that's supposed to take away all the alcohol. It like kills the alcohol. So it's not like you're gonna get drunk off of this, which I wouldn't mind. Guys, this looks so gourmet. I'm like, I'm really proud of myself. I did that. I'm, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. She's not done yet, but. <sighs> I feel like I'm moving up in the world. I'm just upgrading. I'm elevating. 
levitating. <laughs> this is a really cool and proud moment for me. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm proud of myself. Don't know how much is too much, but that should be good. So our short ribs have been in the oven for about two hours now. We have 20 minutes left on the timer. So now is the time that I'm gonna start preparing the asparagi. Is that the plural word for that? I don't know, I may have just made that up. We're gonna make asparagus. So I just finished giving the asparagus a bath. They had a lovely time, by the way. They enjoyed the little bath time. And now I'm going to spread them out evenly on this baking sheet so that I can get them dressed. They're going to an event called My Stomach. They need to wear the proper attire. I'm going to dress them with some um, oil. Then we're gonna use some salt. I'm going to salt these pretty heavily. Apparently ground pepper helps accentuate the natural flavors of the asparagus, but I'm not too big on pepper, so I'm not going to put that much. And that's basically it. Now I just need to pop them in the oven and then I will be back to you with the finished product. Okay, here's the big reveal. Oh yes. Might as well be bitch because it's all emotional oh guys if you could only smell this oh my god look at my little babies <laughs> i did that oh my god okay i'm gonna wrap this up to keep it warm but i just wanted to show you The moment you've all been waiting for. That's my baby! Ah, I made that! Except for the mashed potatoes. Maybe next time. Bomb as always. Now for the real taste test. Okay, I should probably cut this first. Hold on. Okay, here's our piece. It's not exactly cooked to how I would want it to be, but it's cooked. As far as the flavor, I enjoy it. I wish it was a little bit more seasoned. However, taking into consideration that this is my first time ever doing this, I think I did a pretty damn good job. And even though this took almost three hours, it took three days to make that potato salad. It was a good experience. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming with me on this cooking journey. It was definitely one for the books, one for the recipe books, that is. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Here comes the plane! Peace out.